Yellowstone supervolcano warns that its eruption will bring the world to its knees. An eruption at Yellowstone would bring the world to its knees and cause what is known as nuclear winter, a volcanologist has warned. Supervolcanoes are among the most terrifying natural creations Earth has to offer. The Volcano Explosivity Index VEI, has an eruption strength that is one step further than neighboring volcanoes in general. This means that at one time in history, more than 1,000 cubic kilometers, 240 cubic miles, of material was blown from the cover. Perhaps the world's most famous supervolcano is a huge fissure in Wyoming, USA, that lies beneath the vast National Park volcano, Yellowstone Caldera. Although millions of people visit Yellowstone each year, a volcanologist told Express.co UK about the level of damage that would occur if an eruption occurred and the extent of its impact on the world. Supervolcanic eruptions depend on their location and geological makeup. The events that occur range from hot rock and gas avalanches to extreme changes in the global climate. This last point is caused by the eruption at Yellowstone, which, it is said, will have a big impact, even the whole world. Professor Christopher Kilburn, a volcanologist at University College London, the area around the super eruption will be completely destroyed, he said. But then there is a global impact, that's another story. Clouds of fine volcanic ash will rise into the stratosphere and block sunlight perhaps for several years. More important is the release of volcanic gases such as sulfur dioxide, which forms opaque sulfuric acid droplets and reduces the amount of sunlight but lasts longer than ash. This would cause a complete disruption of global food supplies, Depending on where the eruption occurs, the impact will be large. What scientists call nuclear winter will occur, as ash and debris from the eruption spread across the globe and blanket the sky, blocking most of the sun's rays. This will reduce global temperatures and lead to crop failure, health implications, and reduced energy production. Professor Kilburn continued, If this were to happen in Yellowstone, it would likely put a strain on the global economy as the world's leading economies would suffer. Many economic impacts would occur which would then disrupt trade, food supplies, general activities around the world and in turn could lead to other destabilizing impacts. While such eruptions would not necessarily lead to the extinction of humanity, Professor Kilburn said many volcanoes and super is not actively monitored to detect such movements. It is a myth that the world observes monitors well, he said. They measure specific points every few months, but even then, they may not have the relevant measurements to understand if a large-scale eruption is about to occur. However, for now, Things look promising when it comes to the super event in Yellowstone. The United States Geological Survey USGS, said, Yellowstone is not too late for an eruption to occur, adding a statement on its website. Volcanoes do not work in a predictable way and their eruptions do not follow a predictable schedule. Even so, according to calculations, the volcano cannot be too late for an eruption. In terms of big explosions, Yellowstone has experienced three big explosions at 2.08, 1.3, and 0.631 million years ago. This means an average of about 725,000 years between eruptions. However, there is still around 100,000 years to go but this is based on an average of only two time intervals between eruptions, and this is meaningless. 